Let's go to 2014 for Housebound. Uh, a young woman is forced to return to her childhood home after being placed under house arrest, where she suspects that something evil may be lurking. Written and directed by Gerard Johnstone. Do you have information, Jason? Tagline, Terror Gets Domesticated. I uh, don't know who distributed this. Production company is Semi-Professional Pictures, uh, released on Blu-ray 2017 from accelerator uh the first thing that uh that happened in this movie was i i saw that beautiful new zealand film commission logo pop up which anytime i see a horror movie from new zealand i'm like here we go man we're gonna see some crazy shit gonna see some familiar faces it seemed like they just have a, a small group of actors that yeah everybody, everybody <laughs> the same and they've all done like some version of the power rangers or something um <laughs> I don't know what year this movie is supposed to take place in, but it seems like mid nineties. Is that right? Late nineties. I mean, because they have dial up internet. There's uh the phones. Yeah, yeah. They have an antenna on their TV or whatever. Um, but yeah, I love the fucking, the, the, the best part about this is the Kiwi accent. I love fucking hearing New Zealand people talk. I fuck, I love it. It's great. It makes up for anything that I might say later. Yeah, it's about me not really liking this. Um, the woman on house arrest is a fucking cunt. Uh, yes. I don't know why they wrote an adult woman to act like this, but I don't think anybody would act like that. Like she does. It's a very weird choice. Um, I would have told them to throw that bitch right in jail when she ate the whole meatloaf and drank all the beer. <laughs> uh, 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 she would be the movie would That's be that it. short. It would be twenty minutes, and it would be her in jail. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is a slow moving movie, and it's billed as a comedy horror movie. And forty minutes in, I'm like, when does either of those things yep. occur? <laughs> And uh, it's nothing like the New Zealand horror that I've seen before. Uh, like Undead. Is that, is that what I'm thinking of? Undead? Uh, anything from Peter Jackson. Uh, what the fuck else was I thinking of? Uh, Bad, uh, Black Sheep? Like, this is not... The, <laughs> I, that, that's, a, that's the horror comedy I'm used to from New Zealand. Are they Zealand. responsible for evil aliens as well? Did evil aliens come from New Zealand? I've never seen that. But I would, I'm interested to see, it. and or like Deathgasm, you know, like yeah, that's oh that's anything kind of, that dude, that kid's in. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I was I was expecting something aside from one jump scare out of the first 40 minutes, and the, the, I hate jump scares, man. So cheap. Uh, they, yeah. I I don't know. This thing was about as funny as a New Yorker cartoon, and about as scary as a Disney Channel Halloween special ultimately uh, and uh yeah and when before i realized it wasn't um a ghost story uh i had problems with it because like fucking i i, I watch a lot of paranormal shit all the time why some of it's fake i know some of it's real but i have some awareness of the capabilities of some some capabilities <laughs> i think so fuck i've seen enough of it god damn they can't all be that good at producing videos right <laughs> but but um yeah i think that even if if they're not regardless the shit that i assume is real there's certain capabilities that the pair that you know ghosts have and it's a lot of the shit you know that's why these like ghost movies don't really work for me because it doesn't scare me. I know that the worst thing a ghost can do at its strongest is throw your dishes across the room. So like, you know, <laughs> uh, and I, I read a review. That, well, I'm just saying yeah. what, I, I've watched enough <laughs> of it. I've watched enough of it. Right. Like He's an expert now. I, they say 10,000 hours to be an, uh, whatever. <laughs> I've probably put an in expert. a good chunk. Um, okay. I'm wrong whatever <laughs> it doesn't matter <laughs> i read one review ghosts that, are cool let them have i believe thing. in ghosts i, I believe in ghosts ghost. but they can only throw dishes across the roof like, that's all they can do she, well, but I, believe show, uh, I want you to look at all the the ghost videos that are available i don't want to well see i'm doing it for you i'm, I'm bringing the information to you i'm Keep bringing going. it to you you know um <laughs> i don't want but, to <laughs> yeah <laughs> I, I read uh, one review that said this movie is part slapstick comedy 
I don't know where they saw that at. Uh, maybe when the guy, uh, the girl accidentally stabs her stepfather with the shears. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so funny. Oh, uh, right. Yeah, and, and I guess they bring in this Eugene character. He's supposed to be the comic relief. They bring him in at the very end. Um, and I thought this movie was the result of someone trying to do too many things at the same time. You know, they, they just pick a lane, you know, horror comedy do one of them at least um and i i the i think the funniest thing about this movie is that dennis looked like ted cruz like uh at the end <laughs> especially uh during the maniacal segments um and i did really enjoy the head explosion i liked that that was like the best thing in the movie i guess um i gave it a three out of ten so what's up <laughs> <laughs> He's like, call it's your throne. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, horror comedy from New Zealand. I was kind of expecting more of uh, that tone. The I guess Either the one, humor that, or that, I'm, that I'm used to. Uh, but it it is there, and I, I could pick up on it. And I actually did enjoy the humor that, that was in it, at least. Uh, and I enjoyed all the characters. Uh, the girl, yes, bitch. But I mean, that's the way. That's the way they wrote it. So that was her character. But no, I lo- I loved the mom. Thought she was. I thought she was hilarious. Uh, I enjoyed the, the the little plot twist that they they threw in there. The house itself, I thought was cool. I thought it was a, a nice setting. Um, I don't know. It, it was just, it, this is another one time watch for me. It was middle of the road. Um, I may pick this up for, you know, a couple bucks if I come across it, you know, use somewhere. Uh, but I gave it a five out of 10. John? All right. Yeah. So this was actually probably the second time I've seen this. I saw it when it came out um, on, I streamed it on Netflix, I believe, when it first came out. And I really enjoyed it. I I didn't go in expecting any certain kind of horror comedy or anything. It was just a horror comedy. All right, cool. A little light on the horror, but, you know. A light on the comedy. <laughs> I liked it. I thought it was funny. But, the, yeah, that chick, man. Oh, my God. But to that actress's credit, like, she played that part pretty well to emote such a reaction. I wanted to like, ah, she was like King Joffrey evil. I hated her at the beginning. <laughs> Excuse she me. Won't go over. Uh, well, I mean, you forget about the whole, it. <laughs> yeah, you do forget about it. Cause there's worse out. There's worse stuff going on. I like, I loved all the, I liked the shiftiness of the plot. And I thought it furthered the story along. It's like, oh, okay. Oh, all right. And it's like all the elements were always there for it to go in those directions. To just become you know? people under the stairs, like all of a sudden. It's just that's what it is now. I mean, that was that neighbor's <laughs> that was that neighbor's love child with that prostitute. You know, he told the story. Yeah. Kid didn't like the the, the sunlight for some reason. You know? Um I understand that. <laughs> yeah, go figure. Yeah, why not? Yeah, whatever. Uh, his his whole setup was neat. The insides of the house, the in, of the walls inside the house that that was awesome. He had like a little slide, I think, down into the one mm. thing. Like he had that place decked out. That was when, like, when on Bob's Burgers when he lived in the crawl space for a couple of days. Oh <laughs> that's my what God. he reminded me of. <laughs> That's an old, that's like a classic. That's like, oh, that's a great, that's like episode two, I think. <laughs> I love, I love that show. This I love is, that show. It, this is, it's just kind of the same plot as The Boy, ain't it? Kind of. I've never seen that. I mean, you know what? Isn't that that is you to better that's than supernatural? its reputation. Yeah. I, and I thought, the, I, I thought the exact same thing. Like, I avoided yeah. that movie forever. But Me then too. my wife, you know, she's not that into horror but that's one that she said I, hey i want to see it so i'm like okay i'm on board but i think that's kind of like the same thing it like i thought it, you're led to believe it's something supernatural and then all of a sudden right spoiler alert it's someone you know in the walls or whatever yeah well like yeah I, 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 
Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, right. no, that's right. But I was I was also pleasantly surprised. It's kind of a, like, a bad wow. Ronald kind of thing. <laughs> a what? <laughs> I said bad <laughs> Ronald. Oh, was that better than you thought it was going to be? Bad Ronald? Yeah. I haven't seen it. I just know the reference. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, never mind. Back to that. Back to yeah. back I have to Housebound. Okay. All right. Anyway, <laughs> he, he hides it. He hides it in his wall. <laughs> I did like. Yeah. Right. Exactly. I did like how through, um. Oh Jesus! What was the boy's name? Eugene's pictures. He showed her how shitty she was. You know what I mean? So she kind of like got a uh, like a. Uh, a, a little bit of a reckoning with herself. I thought that was that was pretty cool. Uh, it was a nice poignant moment. Um, but overall, I really enjoyed this movie, even the second time around, because I it's been years since I've seen it. You know, it's been out wh- how when it seventeen. I thought it was right. Oh, well, the Blu-ray. Was 17? I don't know. I, I think I, it was fourteen. Oh, then it's been even longer than I thought. Then yeah, two thousand fourteen. Yeah. All right, so I haven't watched it since it came out, not because it sucked. There's just been so many things to watch, but um, I I liked it a lot. I gave it an eight. I thought it was really enjoyable. I love the the way it flowed. It was fun. Right on, Rob. You know, you all are too kind because it's like uh, for me, this movie was just sheer torture. Hey, there we yeah. are. There and we it, are. It was like. <laughs> It was, it was like, I felt like that dude from A Clockwork Orange, you know, where he was being forced to watch something. <laughs> you picked this, could, did you? Did you pick this? I picked it, yeah. So it was, <laughs> I worked for myself, man. I'm like a Cinnabite or something. It was just like, it was so awful. It was like, um, it just dragged and dragged. Mm-hmm. And I was expecting horror or something to happen. And they would just talk, 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 talk. Talk about a p- pamphlet. <laughs> Yeah, it was like <laughs> nothing but talking, and every now and then something bloody happens. Who cares? It's just like it's so boring. It's not worth it. And then um, I'm sitting there like I'm okay. It's like um, haunted house. Okay, I'm waiting for haunted house. And then um, then holy <laughs> fuck! Yeah, God damn it! It's fucking Bob Ross living in their fucking wall. He comes out looking at like a goddamn raccoon, and I'm like, fuck <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that the movie's almost two hours long. Like it yeah. really is a. Really All right, long. it might be a little bit it long. Did, yeah, it did. It did All right, a little bit. A it little was. Bit. It was just su- such torture for me, and then the Bob Ross thing just messed it up even further. <laughs> I didn't hope it had the one saving grace this movie had was that gore effect at the end when Bob Ross stuck the. They were the fork, the stick, and then the neck, and then plugged it in, whatever. Boom. Yeah. Okay. And so that is the only reason why the movie <laughs> gets the one point that I'm going to give it. Wow. Oh, at least I somebody's on my team. Holy it's shit. Terrible. Yeah. Uh, for Holy me, shit. my opinion, it's a terrible movie. I will never watch it again. And I will warn people, you know, that are looking for <laughs> something entertaining to just. Go go watch something else, but that's just my opinion. I understand. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh yeah. Very, so like, so so opinions. you you like you pick this blindly. Yes. Right. I've almost right done on. it too. We the cover art looks great. I, I try to pick the, to blind pick some films because it's like I want to I want to see more movies because I have this entire huge collection of awesome mm-hmm. films. I'm like, how many more awesome films are out there that I haven't seen? And unfortunately, this was not one of them. <laughs> right on.